Generally speaking, housing in North America is between two and five times more expensive than it was 20 years ago, far ahead of wages. When I was little, my parents rented a two bedroom apartment for well under $1,000 a month. Today, when people my age move out, they can get a room and a house for $600 a month. A one bedroom is much more than this, and even out in the horrible suburbs, a family needs two full-time workers to afford a big house. Some of you lucky enough to own a home might say, there's not much room here anymore. Have you considered moving somewhere cheaper? When we bought our house in 1976, we had to work- So unless you've been living under a rock, you've noticed that housing, whether that's rent or purchase prices, has skyrocketed in a short period of time. There are a number of factors contributing to this, but in this series, I like to focus on the most controversial yet critical factor, supply and demand, or the housing shortage. Before we get too deep into facts and opinions, we need to talk about where this applies. Everywhere. There is an upward trend in housing prices across the world, but it's different in many places depending on how much housing is available and many other policy and socioeconomic factors. We'll be focusing on my home city of Victoria, BC, a desirable region of 400,000 people with room to sprawl outwards or grow inwards. But desirability only amplifies the housing crisis. Cheaper cities, from Nanaimo to St. John's, have still experienced increasing prices and low vacancy rates. In this four-part series, we're going to discuss the housing shortage, the causes behind it, the details and designs, and the policy solutions. Through local advocacy, I've become educated on the supply side of the crisis and how we can address it. We believe building more housing is not a complete solution to the crisis, but that we cannot solve it without it. Long story short, more or less things means more competition, meaning it's harder to speculate and jack up prices just because. If that sounds like an oversimplification, that's because it is. In the next video, we discuss the cause of the shortage and the relationship between vacancy rates and speculation.